Did you know there are over 6 billion people on this planet? Did you know that more than half of them own a mobile phone? Did you know last year alone, 1.1 billion phones were sold worldwide? Mobile phone companies are known for their technological wizardry, but how concerned are they about the environment? We're here at Sony Ericsson in Lund, Sweden. They're very cool, very high tech and very innovative. So how are they using that innovation in their approach to sustainability? Hi Max, now you're head of sustainability here at Sony Ericsson. Can you tell us what you're doing to try and minimise your environmental impact? Everybody's working with sustainability in the company. It's integrated in, in, in the processes, so when we design a product, it's uh, part of the requirements already from the start. How do you measure the impact of an individual phone? We measure the whole life cycle of a phone, so we assess all the different parts from the mining all the way through through the recycling and, and the user phase and everything of a phone. And the whole phone impact from an energy point of view is 23 and a half kilos of carbon dioxide, which means that if you take your family car and drive that for a little over 100 kilometers, that's the same amount. What's next? Next is the Green Heart. The Green Heart is our new way of introducing new innovations from an environmental perspective. Hi, Hello, Angelica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As an environmental coordinator, my responsibilities are to building good environmental practice into the design of our products. We have phased out bromine, antimon, and beryllium already, and they are not uh, requested by law, but we have done it to be a step ahead. I'm here with Patrick in the Materials Library in the Design Centre. So where does sustainability start for you? Sustainability starts with all materials in our phone. We're looking at the um, environmental and uh, corporate responsibility. All uh, our suppliers assess to ensure compliance on uh, the environmental and corporate responsibility requirements. They have to commit themselves to uh, control their own supply chain. I'm in the design centre talking to Simon about Greenheart. Now Simon, what's the difference between this phone and any other Sony Ericsson product? Well it's a special phone actually because it's made from sustainable materials, um, for example milk bottles, water cartons, basically recycled plastics. I think what the beauty of this product is is that you couldn't actually tell that it's a sustainable product just by looking at it. Still as, still as great and as beautiful as any of our other products. Now it's not just the phone that's green, there are other elements too, aren't there? Yes, there is. The packaging, for instance, and the manual kit. We have uh, what we call an e-manual in this phone, which makes it possible for us to take away the manual kit completely. So the, the packaging size is down to a minimum, and that is really, really great. So this was last year's product, and this is this year's product. And you can see the difference. The difference is half a kilo of paper. An ethical supply chain, Environmental design, what's next? We're introducing what we call a global take-back, environmental warranty system where people can give back their phones to Sony Ericsson and we will make sure that they are recycled in a good way. So we could use all the metals and everything that's inside the phone uh, to, to make new phones. Sony Ericsson is working hard on a greener portfolio and as customers demand more from manufacturers, it's great to see a company take responsibility and lead on sustainability. They didn't just jump on the bandwagon, they've been at it for years. They're passionate about it, they're obsessive about it, and I like that in a company. <laughs>